How's it going? Welcome back to another video. Just a bit of crack today. A few lads out their crawlers in the woods. Going to pit them against each other and see what one's the best. And I think we all know it's going to be my one. The mighty Axial SCX6. Nothing stands a chance against what's this one? Element Enduro. Element Enduro. What else? Traxxas TRX Sport. TRX4 Sport, isn't it? Yep. And what's this jalopy? T-Rex. What is it? Easy. What do you see us for a spot? Cracking river crawl, stream crawl, whatever you want to call it. Right up the top. It's a long one. Let's see who can make it all the way. Just look at the speed and power of the servo in this rig. It tracks a TRX4 with a 70 kilogram servo doing the work it needs to do on this little section. Now let's have a look at Kieran's TRX4 Sport with the Fusion Pro motor and ESC combo, an upgraded servo and I think it's Maybe got a bit of brass in the front, but running standard tires and standard foams. Don't spend, what, does your, your wife want to watch this? 30 pounds on that. Get that for 20. <laughs> that motor sounds real well on that. Yeah, yeah it's nice and quiet. Huh? So we're all making our way up the riverbed no problems whatsoever and we have just been joined by another couple of guys one with an ftx high rock another with the vanquish vs410 and then we have what you'll see here in just a minute it's a bit of a bits and pieces bits of this bits of that but uh we just know it as the limousine and yes you'll see why we call it the limousine in just a moment and what is that the fusion yeah did everything, the 18 did everything else that you needed to do. Yeah. It was just that real slow for all that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, you're going to the standard. The TRX4 Sport making absolutely light work of that. And now we'll cut to the FTX High Rock, which was struggling just a bit with this section and had to give up. And now let's have a look and see what the limousine can do. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. I tell you what, that thing never ceases to amaze me. The places it can go and what it can do, it's just absolutely unbelievable for a self built rig. Things start to get a little bit tight now for the SCX6. Just starting to narrow down and you need to watch here because if you get a wheel caught the wrong way, you could break an axle. Let's have a look now and see if the element enduro can get through it. That's a bit of an axle breaker. And that's a fail. The TRX4 Sport making light work of it. Can the fully blown TRX4 make it look just as easy? Well, not quite as easy, but it still did manage to get there. Now for the limousine, how can it do? Easy peasy, look at that. I told you, the size of that thing, the length of it, it should not go these places, but it just does. Time for the high rock. Can it manage it just as easy? And yes, the high rock has just managed it. Now the vanquished has turned. I'd expect this to do it no problem. Just as I thought, not a problem.
That little TRX4 Sport just followed the big Axial SCX6 round all day long and nothing really faced it. I'd have to say of all the cars that were there, the Sport was the one that blew me away the most. That motor combination with the Fusion Pro and the upgraded servo, a little bit of weight in the front, nothing too drastic done, just made it an all round great car for terrain like this. Until that is, we hit this obstacle here. As you've seen, the SCX6 just walked up it like it wasn't there. But this is where you can really see the size difference between the 10th scale and the 6th scale vehicles. There's just no way we can get any clearance to get any front end lift to get the tires onto the rocks. And it just struggled to the point that it tipped over and there was no way Kieran was going to be able to drive it out. So one hand to God, opted for the easy option to get out and left it to the rest of the guys to try. And let me just say, everybody else that was there decided there's no way they were going to make it. But the fully blown TRX4 had to give it a go. And again, as you can see, another failure. Well, I think it's safe to say trying to compare this SCX6 to the 10th scale rigs is like trying to compare apples to oranges. They're both decent, but uh, no clear winner apart from the apples, which is the SCX6. But different terrain just opens up different lines for a rig like that. Right here, we all decided to follow Johnny G up into the woods, thinking he knew where he was going, but very quickly it became apparent he hadn't a clue. Oh, difficult it was for me to get up here. <laughs> 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 oh, down, it's hard. Just let go. Just roll. <laughs> it's the, I can roll on it's the bouncing bit I'm not good at. <laughs> and that's just about it for today's adventures, and I'll just leave you with these two clips of the two TRX4s battling to try and make it up this hill that I have to say the Axial SCX6 just walked up like it wasn't there but that just goes to show you the difference between the two scales of the vehicles things like this the big six makes easy and these things just struggle doesn't mean that one's better than the other it just means you need to look for bigger obstacles for the six and smaller obstacles for the ten scales anyway hope you enjoyed it stay tuned see us all on the next one happy RCing folks <laughs>